Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So when we left off, we did a couple side quests. We also finished the water temple earlier this week, which means it's now time for us to go down into the cave um, at the bottom of the well. But before that, of course, uh, I just teleported to Kakerika village. Uh, we have to get all the water out of the well. So let's go and do that. Uh, we are going to drive this windmill man, windmill man crazy. So, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and jump up here and give him a little talking to like, there we go. That's, that's the right way. Oh no, it's going crazy. Is that a hole in the top of the windmill? I think that's the first time I noticed that. And then if we speak to this guy, he's gonna be like, what, it's going the wrong way. And he's gonna be very, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Jesus, it's way too fast, okay. There we go. Um, <laughs> so we cleared all the water out of the well. So let's just jump down here and um, get into it, shall we? The bottom of the well. All right, go ahead and enter into this, please. I don't think we have any fire things, so I think we're okay with the Kokiri shield. Um, okay, we got a ladder going down. And we got this guy. We're taking this very cautiously. What does Navi have to say about this skeleton? I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they are saying. Which way is the room? Over here? Over here? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> it was along that wall. It was just in the corner. Um, okay, we got big skull. Always good. Um, God. I like how they give us a, a dungeon that requires the Eye of Truth. Oh my God. There we go, we'll just walk around him. Um, try not to get lost, so I went left first. Oh, okay. That was creepy, did you see it? It looks like the floor gave out beneath us. Um, all right. There is a treasure down there. Uh, is this door real? Okay, good. <laughs> um, we got mummies. But if we stand in the middle and we do Din's fire, we should be okay, right? Let's try it. And that way we also just like light up all of the torches at one time, hopefully. So many cutscenes. Was I not supposed to do that? Oh. Okay. 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 Danger. Danger. Okay. 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 <laughs> um. Let's go ahead and get the get these uh bats out of here. These keys. Um, we'll collect this heart. There's another mummy, two mummies. Um, we got a heart in this one. And then if we do Din's fire again, I think it's these last two ones that there's like something hidden in it, like a key or something. I just can't believe the fire isn't like killing these mummies. Another keys. Lots of keys. Okay. Not so scary when you take them on one at a time. Especially once they're already locked onto you, then they're really easy to hit. Okay. 
Is there anything in these? There we go, the small key. Okay. These mummies are annoying. Are you kidding me? What is going on? There we go. <laughs> we found a small key. It will open a locked door and you can only use it in this dungeon. We know already. Um, all right, then let's go ahead. Was there anything in this one? No, okay. Let's get on out of here quickly before this mummy jumps on my back. There we go. And the door, the room to the left solved. Besides that treasure chest at the bottom of the water that we can't do anything about right now. Let's go ahead and dive. I mean, if we were in an adult link, um, we could definitely, you know, help out with that. But we don't have our boots, our iron boots or our tunic, so. Okay. Now we'll go to the other, oh, sheesh. Spooky. Okay. I feel like I remember this part, like there's lots of these little trap floors um, throughout this whole dungeon. Like there's a whole thing down here. Okay. Let's get out our ocarina and play the Song of Sun. Cause we uh, figured out when we learned this song that that's how you can get rid of these mummies really easily. Yeah, just like that. It doesn't stop them permanently, but it stops them for a little bit. Jesus. Did he just climb up on that reed? Okay. All right, so we got a few of the gems, not all of them. Um, might as well look around here. We did already walk past the... Okay, well, maybe when we have our, like, Eye of Truth, we'll be able to figure out what that means exactly. Uh, what's down this one? I think this is another way that we fall down. I mean, the, the, the way lit up by torches seems like the correct way to go, right? Got another mummy. We got the chest. Let's go ahead and play our sun song. And while that mummy is frozen, we can go ahead and open up this chest and hopefully this will give us the eye. That would be nice. I mean, it's a map. I'm not gonna say boohoo to a map, right? Like that's always helpful, help us get around. And while that guy's still frozen, run out of here. Uh, looks like if we get our boomerang out, we might be able to. Oh, we have to fall down on that platform to get those, I guess. Doesn't like us cheating and just grabbing them with our boomerang. Since, oh, those aren't even reeds. Those are skeleton arms, dude. Oh, <laughs> gross. All right, let's go ahead and climb up this and get out of this dungeon area. I'm sure we'll be back to it eventually. Well, we didn't get all of the silver pieces, but we got enough to get out, thank goodness. Oh, and now we're just out back at the beginning. Okay, well, at least we know. Could you go through the wall there, please? Hello? Oh, is this a different skeleton? Oh. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> Let's go this way. Okay, this is the right way. This is the way that we were working and progressing along. Um, let's... You would think that I would remember about that guy. I'm just scared. Yeah, the skeleton head's gonna come around while I'm trying to fight this. Can't go into this wall, so we'll just ignore him for now. Um, this is water, and we can also go into the wall behind it. I know that's how we lower the water level. Um, let's go ahead and do it at the like main water level. All right. So 
I, if, if I remember correctly, this room has holes all over the floor. So we gotta be very careful. Oh, sheesh. Okay. Got all the monies. Okay, we need a... We need a key to get into that door behind us, but let's first kill the Skulltola. So that way we can get that chest. And then I think there's a hole beneath him if we just walk forward into this room. Yeah, so if we go around like this and then just open it this way, we don't fall into any holes. Watch, there isn't even a hole there. And that literally was just a Deku nut because we do not need, but we do not need Deku nuts. Okay, let's go back around this way because like I said, I'm pretty sure there's a hole in the middle. <gasps> That's where the hole was, okay. It's fine. Um, Jumping right across through the poison and the weird arm sticking out of the poison river. We'll go back up here and um, I don't know if we should do that room again. Maybe we'll just go, we'll just go to the right this time instead of how we were going. We are gonna go this way and see what's up. We'll run along the wall. Hello? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, let's open this up. Got another small key, perfect. Is this the entrance? What does Navi have to say about this face? This wall, it says something here. Danger below, that's what it says. Thanks for that. Um, I'm pretty, is this the way that we came in? Yeah, it must be. Is it? All right, let's go check it out, we'll check it out. And then if it's not the, if it is the way that we came, we'll just leave. Is that one gonna say anything? Okay, cool. Well, let's go through this. Since it use up one of our keys. Up we go one more time. Just not even giving a heck about the poison water anymore. Yeah, sit back down, sir. And um, so there's about three rooms that we haven't been on been in yet. Um, we don't have the compass yet, so we don't know which room actually has a chest in it. We know that that one room that I like fell down, that center room, I remember that being kind of like the main room. Um, and I think we can get to it from over here. Were the bars, were some of the bars just not real too? I think maybe that was it. Oh geez, I forgot this guy was here. <laughs> okay. Um... What if we put a bomb right here on this suspicious looking pile? Oh God. <laughs> oh, okay. We were meant to go down there. Here we go. A chest. Oh, bomb chews. Just what we needed, right? More bomb chews. It's like all these little pieces are coming together, but I don't remember exactly what each of them mean, you know what I mean? Like, I swear there's gotta be a way for me to get into here. It's not your typical way. Let's go ahead and go into this room. I mean, it's a Skulltola. I'm never gonna say no to a Skulltola. I'm just scared of that hand, okay. <laughs> Back into the center, we got Slime Boy, okay. Go into here until that Fire Boy gets out of here. <gasps> Through the gate? That worm boy did a suck through the gate? The heck? What does Navi have to say? The water flowing out of the statue is flooding the entire floor. Hopefully we are standing in the right spot. It made the sound like it worked. Now that the water is drained, there is um, a couple more things that we can do. Namely, we can jump down here and get what's ever in this treasure chest. 
A heart. How did they know? That's what we wanted. Hmm? <clears throat> I thought that would do a lot more. Uh, it just gave us that heart piece, which is like sweet. Thank you. <gasps> oh no, not the squid guy. Okay. <laughs> which is like awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. However, it didn't really do much else. Wait a minute. Maybe this is another small key for another thing. Some bombs. Can I go through here? No. Oh. Well, that looks like a place that I can crawl into. So let's try that. And we'll slice up this Skulltola. Oop. Can, I, can you pick up that heart link? We're getting kind of low. Um, we'll climb through this door and... <gasps> Ew, I feel like if we get close to those arms, they're gonna, like, do arm things. Oh my god, and I'm gonna get blown up. Oh my god, okay. Disgusting. Kill it. Watch out for its infinite hands and aim for its head. You gonna bite me, bro? Okay, so it's gotta get close to me. Is that it? Just wait for it to get close to me in this corner and then just keep slicing it? Okay, it's, it does have a different moveset. I was like, easy cake. I just have to get grabbed by its hands. And then struggle? Could you like... <laughs> I think the scariest part about this guy is that he just looks creepy as heck. Right, he's gonna disappear. And then we get grabbed by the arms again and we're like, oh my god. Like, he looks disgusting, straight up. He looks like an underbaked pastry, all right, with a creepy long neck. Like, this is what nightmares are made out of. Plus also, he doesn't have any actual hands on his body. But honestly, the combat is kind of cheap. Not sure if I should be doing this. Okay. Well, his sand hurts, so that's good to know. Like, I'm not even getting damaged by these hands. The hands are just holding me in place. And I'm sure if he caught up to me while a hand was holding me, I'd be in trouble. But, ugh. Like, really, Nintendo, you went above and beyond. Is this really a child's game? Because that was disgusting. And its body's just twitching as it's laying lifeless on the ground? Nintendo, y'all are sick. Y'all are frightening. A compass? The lens of truth? Yes! Okay, cool, good. This will help a bunch. Okay, so it does use magic power. Finally, a use for our magic power. I mean, besides Din's fire, obviously. Oh, and look at that, guys. Our whole entire thing is, like, filled up. That's great. Let's get out of here and um, try to actually do this dungeon correctly, now that I actually have that tool. Wow, would you look at that? Amazing. Okay. Let's try this room one more time. Okay, that one. No, this one. Bro. See? Okay, it looks like there's an entrance over here. So if we just go through here, I knew there was a sneaky entrance. See, I told you guys, I wasn't crazy. I almost found it on my own. All right, I knew there was a secret little like hole that you can see. And there's the compass, great. Um, and then honestly, the Eye of Truth was the main thing that we needed out of this room, out of this dungeon, but we shall um continue onward might as well get all the little secrets okay got that one already and honestly it's not taking up too much of our magic power so that's good all right so there's a treasure in here that thing can suck me through the freaking wall uh let's go down here and now we can actually maybe do this room without getting murdered Ha ha ha! 
ha ha ha. Okay. So we can walk along here and just pick up these hearts really quickly. We got another Deku shield! Great! <laughs> How did they know? They knew that the Kokiri one had gotten burnt up. And then we can cross safely over to this door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I do not have the items equipped that I need to have equipped. Let's do that one. I was not ready. Amazing. I did so well. Okay, what's in here? Rupees? Is there really nothing else in this dungeon? Let me check my map after I get this gold skull toll up, but we if we take a look at the map, we got all of the gold skull tolas because up up at the top of the map there it says bottom of the well and it has the skull tola thing. Um, we have the item out of it, and I don't think we're gonna get a boss. Obviously, there's two more treasures for us to get. However, we're already maxed out on rupees, and if we have all the items that we need, I say that we should just bail, you know? There's no point in, like, continuing to get poked and prodded, right? So I made the executive decision. We're just gonna get out of here. We got the Lens of Truth. Um, we're maxed out on money. So, I think, you know what? We did a good job. Did we get all of the chests? No. Does that matter? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to affect us in any way, you know? So, I am going to go ahead and leave this part here. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode and this Let's Play series. I appreciate all the support you guys have shown me. Um, as always, a link to my sticker shop, as well as all my social medias are linked down below my description, or in the description, as well as below my webcam. Um, if you have not liked and subscribed to this channel, please do so. That really helps me grow. And until I see you guys again tomorrow, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.